Hello to all of you. This is Dr. Dawal Mehta. And let's try to understand how to run one sample t test in Jamal. For this purpose, I'll be using the employee data. I'll request all my viewers to kindly refer my previous video to understand the flow of this lecture series. In this data, we are having gender, which is categorical variable. Education has been captured in such a way that if any employee has completed an education till 12th standard, 12 will be indicated, first year of college, 13, second year of the college, 14. Three job categories are there, clerical, custodial, and managerial. Here, we are having a current salary and the beginning salary of an employee. Job time, from how many months an employee is with our company. The previous experience of an employee is the employee present in minority, yes or no. Now, there is a claim by the CEO of this company that the CEO of the company has claimed that on an average we are paying $40,000 to the employees. So we have to test this claim. How we can do it? We will go in t-test and we will activate one sample t-test. I will transfer the salary here. Now we want to test this, uh, this mean of the salary against the claim and the claim is $40,000. So, depending upon your hypothesis, you can choose one-sided test. So, either it can be a greater than test value or less than. So, we have considered $40,000 here. We got the answer. I have simply copied this result in the word file. You can see it. Now, what is our null hypothesis in this case? So, there is no significant difference in the sample mean and the population mean. Alternative, there is a significant difference in sample mean and the population mean. Or null is a mu is equal to forty thousand dollars. Alternative mu is not equal to forty thousand dollars, and you got the result that is p is less than zero point zero zero one. Now, how will I write the interpretation? As a p value of one sample t test is zero point zero zero, which is less than five percent level of significance, we reject null hypothesis, which means that there is a significant difference in the population mean. So we can say that the claim of the CEO is wrong. The sample mean is 34,419, which is significantly different from $40,000. So from where did I got this figure, $34,419? Very simple. You click here in descriptives and you will get the mean here, 34,420. So this is a way you can run one sample t-test in Jamovi. For more videos on Jamovi, kindly subscribe to my channel. You can follow me on LinkedIn and Twitter. Please refer my playlist in which I already uploaded many videos of Jamovi.